Hey guys, what's up? My name is Sean Rissalt and welcome to my Delphi programming series. So in this video, we are going to be learning how to create a list box component dynamically. So when you create a list box dynamically, you have to create the list box with code. You have to set all of the properties and the events for the list box via code. So let's start by going to the code. Let's first create a variable. The list box of type t list box. Let's copy this name and then we start dot oops colon equals t list box dot create. So the create um, is a constructor and in, in the brackets it wants um, a an owner. An owner is responsible for destroying the list box. So let's set it equals to the form. This is my form name. So this means that the form will, will be responsible for destroying the list box. Okay. And let's give it the parent. We want the parent to be the panel. As you can see, I have a panel here. And so we want the list box to appear on the panel. And thus, like if we add a list box now here, you will see that the list box is currently a child of the panel and the panel is a parent of the list box. Okay. You can also read this um, photo. Uh, v not sent me this um, from the WhatsApp group. You can find the WhatsApp group if, if you want to join it in the description. I have the link there. Um, you can pause the video and read this if you want. So let's continue. Then this box dot. Uh, let's give it a font size. Font dot size colon equal. Let's make it size 18. Then this box dot. Um, Let's give it mm, a width of, I don't know, maybe a hundred. Uh, let's test out a hundred. And then we say then list box dot align al left. Okay. Now we can assign um, stuff into list box. I say then list box dot um, items dot add okay and let's add some random items to it I'm just going to be adding some names same as one of my other videos really matter and let's add Kelly okay so here's some random names for the this books let's compile and actually and actually and actually see how it works so far ah so there it works that's okay, all of these list, list boxes okay so now let's just do something interesting and give um, each each list box a random color okay so let's add a no, wait Let's add a new variable here. We'll call the we will call this i color of type integer. And when we click the button, here we'll just randomize. We set a random seed for the randomness basically, and then we set i color equals to random and just some numbers there. Okay, and then we say then list box dot color and we set it equals to this random integer integer color here and then we can compile and it will actually actually set a random color for the list box that is created as you can see as you can see it creates a new list box on the left side of it so to fix that you can just basically when you align to left 
you just set it then let's box dot um, the left the left property see the left property equals to the farm you can like just set a massive value for there or you could just um, we're not going to make a lot of lot of list boxes so we don't have to set like that you can if you want but you can also just say then oof, what am I doing now dnl um, parent dot with that will essentially take take the width of this one and set it and set the um the list box is left yes basically if you create a new list box now it will literally it will literally literally put the list box here there and then it's there it will automatically align to left and then then will go here okay so that will work let's compile and see how that works okay, that's a lot, lot of green colors let's test that again there okay as you can see okay so now let's give it events now we, now we have set some properties for it so now let's get set some events for it as well let's give it and let's see what events this box has this box one click um, on mouse on exit Mm. Okay, let, let, let's just do the, a, a normal on click event and then it will give us the color of the list box. Okay, let's do that. Oops, let's go to public. We'll say uh, procedure. You can write your own the different events, different events that, that does different stuff. I'm just going to be doing an on click event. Okay. Let's call this then list box click. You can give it any name you want. So let me say sender t object. Ah, come on. Then here in the implementation we say procedure, the form name, which is not form name, form class name. Here we have created the procedure for it. Then just show message. Then we need to select the um, take the list box that is currently clicked upon. So we say sender as t list box. Then we can dis display. Let's quickly see what happens if we display the items dot text. What it will actually sh actually show us. So now we can um, give the list box on click that procedure on click. We set it equals to the then list box click. <coughs> Let's see. Click on this one. Okay, yeah, it gives us a different stuff in the list box that works. Let's do something cool. Let's add um, another show message. And the second one will show us the color. Dot color. And then we need to convert the, co the color to string. So we say color to string. Okay. Let's compile. So all of the names will be the same. As you can see, that the names will be the same. And then here's the color for that list box. Or maybe this list box. Or this one or that one or that one so it shows us the different colors of it okay, and that's basically how to create a list box dynamically and assign stuff to it so if this video helped you in any way please make sure to give a thumbs up for this video share it comment below uh, subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye